Thanks, Thomas. It's been a great uh, two days for me. I was here yesterday also. We had uh, uh, being part of the consortium uh, in uh, biodiversity portal. It's, it's, it's been great to see uh, the, the, the kind of uh, uh, direction it has taken and uh, how it's progressed. Uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful uh, uh, set of uh, people who started it off in organizations, and I think it's it's uh, it's a great uh, collaborative work to date. Uh, having seen the pre-CPF uh, uh, you know effort and looking at it now, I think it's it's it's. Uh, actually developed in a way that uh, you know, one wouldn't have imagined when it was first uh, started. I think the CPF Western Guards uh, primarily has been responsible in sort of reinvigorating this entire process through the Western Guards uh, uh, portal and then you know, extending it to uh, the India Biodiversity portal. Uh, which is which is great, and to see all of you here today, and uh, to listen to your uh, presentations, it just brings me so much uh, uh, joy. Because you know, for the last uh, 25 years, I've been working with lesser known taxa, trying to promote within uh, the South Asian region, working with the IUCN Red List, putting up a lot of uh, information on the uh, Red List, and uh, you know, uh, doing all kinds of uh, things with absolutely no information when the, you know the uh, lack of taxonomists in those groups was very very uh, what I must say uh, uh, you know hindering the entire process but to see so many of you uh, working on so many different uh, aspects and on tax art uh, gives, uh, gives me great uh, uh, joy just to you know uh, to understand that taxonomy still has a great chance of revival in, in this country. Uh, and I must say that India is one of the only few countries in Asia to have so many taxonomists up and coming, uh, which is which is a great uh, thing. And again, you know, thanks to IVP, it's, it's making it possible for people to participate collaboratively, get recognized, and actually uh, develop from being para-taxonomists to actually actual taxonomists, which is great. And of course, you know, taxonomy is the backbone to conservation. So whatever we do. Uh, based on taxonomy is a better way of approaching uh, conservation and I think you know, this, this particular portal will just make it much more uh, reliable. I'd like to just highlight one thing that uh, um, I have known and seen and uh, worked with different people uh, in the region and the most recent example of how citizen science uh, has helped in understanding an area that has absolutely no interest in wildlife conservation is the state of Nagaland. We run an uh, eco club called the Hulok uh, Given eco, eco Club in one of the villages in Chizami in Nagaland, where just a group of 40 kids got together about uh, four years back. And we've been uh, uh, training them and uh, working with them. They have now of those 40 kids, at least 15 of them have gone out to do uh, things that have you know, helped them from uh, get away from carrying a catapult or, or an air gun, shooting animals to documenting biodiversity in their region. And it's, it's been a, a slow, painful, but a really a progressive work for that region, uh, for that uh, village. Now, you know, other villages have seen that effort and are joining these uh, uh, kids from Chizami to learn and uh, become more part of this uh, uh, nature conservation effort. 17 of those kids took up this challenge of actually interviewing uh, people, elder, the elders in, the, in their village, in a couple of villages there around Chizami, to understand how uh, hunting was seen before and what are the different kinds of hunting that happened and what is the status of the uh, place because of the hunting. And this paper was published by those 17 kids. They wrote it up and it was published in the September issue of the Journal of the Rent Taxa. So uh, if you're interested, please visit that uh, site and download the uh, paper. It's absolutely free. Um, and you'll get an idea of how kids can write a paper. It's a scientific paper. It's been, uh, uh, they've uh, definitely been helped, but much of the writing is theirs, much of the analysis is theirs. 
so it's, it's not only just you know uh, helping them understand certain things, but also how to convert their observations into uh, scientific uh, you know presentation is uh, what uh, what uh, we've, we've sort of tried to inculcate, which is which is something that uh, not to boast of. Um, We'd like to see the same thing and open it up for all of you who I heard several people here uh, having uh, such efforts in different parts of the country. Perhaps to encourage your students to also write up. Uh, you will you will see the journal to be a bit more uh, different from what uh, what you see of a classical journal. It's it's very scientific. It is peer reviewed, but we also encourage efforts like this. So please make full use of it and we are hoping that the journal will uh, uh, collaborate more actively with the IVP to uh, bring about all the different aspects of uh, taxonomic information, habitat, conservation and whatever information that we have uh, out there from, uh, from the 8,000 odd pages that's available for the last 7 years uh, to be completely available to everybody. It's, it, it, it is available now but you know through IVP I think it will have a better uh, um, it's spread. Again, uh, it's it's uh, wonderful to see you all here. It's it's great to uh, uh, see how this is progressing, and uh, we would like, as members of IBP, to get your feedback. And if you have any critical comments, uh, constructive comments, we will be more than happy to uh, listen and see if we can actually make it much better. We would like to make it much better and we need your help. Thank you very much.